Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been making waves in the music and social media world. The controversy surrounding the talented South African artist Tyler and her identity. Tyler, who's a 2024 Grammy winner and widely known for her hit song Water, found herself in the middle of a cultural and racial debate most recently after an interview on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God. You see, Tyler identifies as colored, a term with significant cultural meaning in places like South Africa, but in the US it has a very different, often negative connotation, which sparked a bit of controversy. And this wasn't the first time this has happened. The whole controversy sort of happened when she got on the scene and when she said, hey, I identify as colored, and then people were like, what? Well, people in the US. Then generally that whole thing died down until Charlemagne the God decided to ask the question. Again, months later. Let's talk about it. Buckle up. This is the no BS version. School, school me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Can we, yeah. Can we not? Oh, I like that. We keeping that in the interview too. <laughs> I like when they talk from the back and say we can't. I like that. I like the character. That's good. That's even better. <laughs> Next one, please. That's even better. <laughs> stupid. Yo. Basically, Charlemagne tried to stir the pot again, and Tyler understandably chose not to respond, and her management stepped in to handle the situation. Good media training. She didn't have to get in front of it like other people have been suggesting she should have done. Obviously, the Breakfast Club people kept the clip and shared it on social media or whatever, however it went viral. This reignited the debate with many in the African-American community criticizing Tyler for using the term colored. And this is why we're having this conversation. For anyone that struggles to understand why this is the case, here's the tea. In South Africa, Colored isn't just a term, it's a recognized racial category with its own unique history and identity. It's used to describe people of mixed heritage, including African, European, Asian, and whatever ancestry. The term colored is used in South Africa in a non-discriminatory way. Colored people throughout the course of South African history have been regarded as neither white nor black. This identity was legally defined sometime during the apartheid era, but has since been embraced by many South Africans just over time as a source of cultural pride as a different race. Around 1958, a Department of Colored Affairs was established in South Africa followed by a Union of Colored Affairs in 1959, and then the Colored Representative Council, CRC, was established in 1968. And the significance of that was all coloreds over the age of 21 were compelled to vote for their own representatives. So it really gives us more context about how far back coloreds in South Africa go. And it actually stretches well before that. For many South Africans, being colored is a distinct cultural identity, rich with its own traditions, languages, and history. So it's not the derogatory term that it once was in the US. They don't actually share anything there. Colored people exist as a race in other countries as well, such as Zimbabwe, for example. It has colored people as their own race. In countries such as Angola, they're referred to as Miss Jesus. That serves to let us know how big of a place the world is with different cultures, experiences, and heritage. One thing is without a doubt, Tyler's music and persona are deeply influenced by her South African roots. When she calls herself colored, she's embracing her heritage and the complex, multifaceted identity that comes with it. Look, our experiences and histories shape how we understand terms and identities. The American experience with the term colored and specifically the African-American experience with that term is rooted in a painful history of segregation, racism and slavery. 
but we cannot impose this singular view on a global stage simply because well america experienced it so it's everyone else's experience especially when it dismisses the unique cultural context of other countries it's been absolutely jarring on social media to see some african americans argue that tyler is using their support to gain popularity and should conform to their experience by identifying purely as black or not whatever she is as long as it's in the binary sense black or white ah oh, that's so problematic on so many levels one viral tweet said this she's mostly south asian they put some cornrows on her and are promoting her on black american media platforms she's engaging in racial ambiguity theater <laughs> that's just that's just not cool fam that's that's such a bad taste tweet it's not even funny anyway Playing the victimhood card to try and guilt trip Tyler into being what she's not because she's not the American experience or the African American experience is uncalled for and disingenuous. She shouldn't have to conform to a to an American perspective on racial identity just because she's gaining popularity in the U.S. Look, if you don't like her music, that's fine, but to question who she is and her identity because it's not your experience is kind of weird respect her self identification and cultural heritage she's south african and in south africa she is colored by insisting that tyler identify in a way that fits an american perspective we actually risk erasing her identity and the rich and unique cultural fabric that she represents especially as a young south african woman that has made it to the big leagues what it really boils down to is that it's crucial to respect and understand the different ways people around the world identify themselves and tyler is one of those people as well as the millions of coloreds in places where they are identified as such that is their identity we cannot take that away from them the situation actually reminded me of uh, a joke Trevor Noah made about using the term colored overseas and he shared how during one of his international tours he referred to himself as colored and was met with like confusion and discomfort and he actually had to explain that look uh, in South Africa colored is a normal and accepted term and whereas out there and I think it was in the UK you, you know um, and he was interacting with a white person and basically they're saying no 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 you're free you're free you don't have to use that term and it's like no 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 you don't understand and this really highlights the cultural differences and the importance of understanding context when discussing racial identities this is what's worth remembering in this Tyler situation the question really being should tyler be vilified for embracing her identity as a colored south african absolutely not instead we should celebrate her for who she is and appreciate the diversity she brings to the music industry and also the learnings just around this conversation how many people out there uh, african americans in particular uh, didn't even know that they are colored people the other side of the world in south africa zimbabwe and other places this is what the conversation brings it opens your mind as long as you're willing to learn about other places now you tell me what do you think about this controversy do you think tyler is being treated unfairly let me know in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content like this otherwise that's it for me my name is mj omoto son of zimbabwe signing out peace Nende. Very dangerous.